This video is the third in a hip bone trilogy and describes the pubis and ischium. To review, three bones fuse to form the hip bone. The ilium is superior and was described in a previous video. The pubis is the anterior bone and the ischium is the posterior bone. The important structure that all three bones contribute to is the socket of the hip joint, also known as the acetabulum. The ilium contributes to two-fifths of the articular surface, the pubis to one-fifth, and the ischium to two-fifths. An important feature to note that results from the way the pubis and ischium fuses is this large foramen. This foramen is called the obturator for Raymon. The name is paradoxical because the word in Latin means the obstructor. And the only reason this makes sense is that in the living human, this opening would be completely obstructed by soft tissue. The medial flat part of the pubis is called the body. Here the two pubic bones come together to form the articulation called the pubic symphysis. Extending from the body, like branches off the trunk of a tree, there is a superior ramus and an inferior ramus. The word ramus means branch, and this term is encountered in many other places in anatomy. The superior ramus extends to the acetabulum and forms the superior wall of the obturator foramen. The inferior ramus fuses with a ramus from the ischium to form the inferior wall of the foramen. If we slide over to the ischium, the main part of the ischium contributes to the acetabulum and is called the body. The posterior surface of the ischium is very rough because of the muscle tendons that attach at this location and this surface is called the ischial tuberosity. Extending anteriorly from this location, the ischial ramus fuses with the inferior ramus of the pubis. Now let's consider some of the features of these bones. Here is the excellent artwork from Anatomy Standard. I provide a link to the website below. If we look first on the medial side, on the superior surface of the pubis, there is a linear raised surface with bumps that reminded the anatomist of a comb. So the bumps are kind of like the teeth of a comb. For this reason, this line is called the pectin pubis, or comb of the pubis. It is also called the pectineal line. On the superior ramus of the pubis, there is a groove called the obturator groove. On the medial side of the body of the pubis, there is a rough surface where the fibers of the fibrocartilage of the pubic symphysis attaches. This surface is called the pubic symphysis, but essentially it is where the pubic symphysis is located in the living human. To look at more features, we need to switch to an anterior view of the hip bone. The most anterior part of the pubic bone is the pubic crest. The superior border of the crest, along with the pectineal line, contributes to the pelvic brim. On the lateral end of the pubic crest, there is a bump called the pubic tubercle. This serves as a point of attachment for the inguinal ligament. If we turn to the lateral side of the hip bone, we can get a better view of features of the ischium. First, remember that on the ilium, there is a distinctive notch along the posterior border called the greater sciatic notch. This notch ends inferiorly with a spine that is called the ischial spine. Below the spine, there is a smaller notch that is called the lesser sciatic notch. As noted earlier, there is a rough surface on the ischium, which is the part of the bone that comes into contact with any surface that you sit on. 
The roughened surface is due to the attachment of muscle tendons at this location. Roughened surfaces on bones are called tuberosities, and this tuberosity is the ischial tuberosity. Projecting from the ischium and fusing with the inferior ramus of the pubis, you have the ischial ramus. This brings our video to an end, and again, if you'd like to take a quiz, there is a link to a quiz in the description below. Here are the image attributions. Again, please note that Anatomy Standard is an excellent website that you can look at yourself. And again, due to popular demand, here is another video of Penelope.